hello and welcome to a new video for easy 900 preparation and this is part 3 you want to orchestrate a workflow by using apis from several well-known services which is the best option for this scenario and the options are a azure kubernetes service b azure logic apps c azure app service and d azure function so for this question the correct answer is b that is azure logic apps so azure logic apps makes it easy to create a workflow across well-known services with less effort than writing code and manually orchestrating all the steps yourself now look why other options are not correct so azure function so azure function could be used but it might require more effort to research the apis write the code and manually orchestrate the services in this scenario functions are not the best option next option azure app service so with app services you need to write and deploy code on vms which require more resources effort and cost to solve this problem and the last option that is Azure Kubernetes service. So it is an open source orchestration software for deploying, managing and scaling containers. You can write and deploy code in a container and manage it by Kubernetes. But this is a huge effort to solve this problem, which can be easily solved with logic apps without writing code. Question number 22. A company is planning to move some of its own premises resources to Azure they have to classify expenses as part of the business justification which category would cooling expenses expense come under and the options are a secondary expenditure b primary expenditure c capital expenditure and d operational expenditure so the correct answer is d so operational expenditure is spending money on services or products now and being billing for them now you can deduct this expense in the same year you spend it there is no upfront cost as you pay for a service or product as you use it so the followings are different cost considered as it has many like software licensing hosting expenses electric bills and so on now you can look why other options are not correct as capital expenditure so capital expenditure is the upfront spending of money on physical infrastructure and then deducting that upfront expense over time the upfront cost from capex has a value that reduces over time now other option that is primary expenditure and secondary expenditure it's not a valid expense category question number 23 your company plans to migrate an azure environment the company has 10 departments and you need to ensure that each department can use a different payment options for the Azure services it consumes. What should you create for each department? And the options are A. Resource Manager B. Subscription C. Management Group and D. Resource Group So the correct answer is B. Subscription so Azure subscription is a logical unit of Azure service that links to an Azure account. You can have multiple subscriptions, one for each department. You can use department subscription to define boundaries around Azure product services and resources. Now other options like resource groups. So it is not correct as it is a unit of management of resources in Azure allows you to logically group Azure resources together. You cannot have a different payment options, one for each department using resource groups. Next options, management groups. So management groups are containers to manage multiple subscription. You should create multiple subscriptions, one for each department, and then logically group subscriptions in management groups based on the company policy and compliance. The last option, Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager is the deployment and management service for Azure. It provides a management layer that enables you to create, 
update and delete resources in your Azure account. You cannot manage payment using the resource manager. Question number 24. This question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct. Pricing calculator can be used to estimate cost savings when migrating to Azure. Select no change needed if the above statement is correct. Otherwise, select the correct answer. And the options are A. No change needed. B. Azure cost management. C. Total cost of ownership calculator. And D. Budget. So the correct statement is total cost of ownership calculator. So it is a tool that you use to estimate cost savings you can realize by migrating to Azure. The TCO calculator generates a detailed report on the details you enter and the adjustment you make. The report allows you to compare the cost of your on-premises infrastructure with the cost using Azure products and services to host your infrastructure in the cloud. Now the other options that is not correct that is Azure cost management. So it is a set of tools for monitoring, allocating and optimizing your Azure cost. Cost management can be used once you started using the Azure cloud to evaluate the cost of resources or services you are using. Next option budgets. So budgets help you to get information about spending on different resources and services to proactively manage cost and to monitor how spending progresses over time. Now the next option pricing calculator. So pricing calculator is a tool that helps you estimate the cost of Azure products. You choose the Azure products you need and configure them according to your specific requirement. Azure then provides a detailed estimate of the cost associated with your selection and configuration. Question number 25. Which of the following choices would not be used to automate a CI CD process? Select the correct option. The options are A. GitHub Action, B. Azure Pipelines, and C. Azure Boards. So the correct option is C. Azure Boards. So Azure Board is an agile project management tool it would not be used to automate a ci cd process other options are not correct as github actions and azure pipelines can be used to automate a ci cd process if you want to practice our quiz you can refer our official website that is tech cloud solution for the quiz and all the azure and aws resources i will give you the link in the comment section question number 26 what explains details about the personal data Microsoft processes, how Microsoft processes it and for what purposes? Select the correct option. And the options are A. Azure Security Center, B. Azure Service Health, C. Compliance Manager, D. Microsoft Privacy Statement. So the correct option is D. So the Microsoft Privacy Statement explains what personal data Microsoft processes, how Microsoft processes it and for what purposes. Now other options you can look at that is Compliance Manager. Compliance Manager is a risk assessment dashboard that provides ongoing risk assessments with a risk based score reference displayed in a dashboard view for regulation and standards. Next option Azure Security Center. So Azure Security Center is a monitoring service that provides threat protection across all of your services both in Azure and on premises. The last option that is Azure Service Health. So Azure Service Health helps you prepare for planned maintenance and changes that could affect the availability of your resources. It also provides personalized guidance and support when issues with Azure services affect you. It can notify you, help you understand the impact of issues and keep you updated as the issue is resolved. Question number 27. An Azure administrator plans to run a PowerShell script that creates Azure resources. You need to recommend which computer configuration to use to run the script. 
select three correct options. The options are A. Run the script from a computer that runs Linux and has the Azure CLI tool installed. B. Run the script from a computer that runs Android operating system and uses Azure Cloud Shell bash mode. Option C. Run the script from a computer that runs Mac OS and has PowerShell core installed. D. Run the script from a computer that runs Windows OS and uses Azure Bash installed. And E. Run the script from a computer that runs Mac OS and has the PowerShell installed. The correct options are A, B, and C. Question number 28. This question requires you to select the correct options from the drop down to enforce resource tagging so the billing can be managed. You will use A Azure policy, B Azure templates, C compliance manager, and D Azure blueprints. So the correct answer is A Azure policy. So Azure policy can be used to enforce tagging on resources. You can create a policy for tagging and apply this policy either on subscription or resource group so that any resource created under the resource group will follow the policy for tagging. Now you can look why other options are not correct Azure templates. So Azure resource manager templates are JSON files that define the infrastructure and configuration for your project. In the template, you specify the resources to deploy and the properties for those resources. These properties should comply with all the policies applicable to resources. Next option, Azure Blueprints. So it enables cloud architects to define a repeatable set of Azure resources that implement and adhere to an organization standards patterns and requirements. Next options compliance manager. So it provides ongoing risk assessment with a risk based score reference displayed in a dashboard view for regulation and standards. Question number 29. Which of the following should be used when the primary concern is to perform work in response to an event often via rest command? that needs a response in a few seconds. Select the correct options. The options are A. Logic app B. Azure container C. Azure app service and D. Azure functions. So the correct answer is D. Azure functions. So Azure functions are used when you need to perform work in response to an event, timer or message from another Azure service and when that work can be completed quickly within seconds or less. Now the other options that is Azure App Service. Azure App Service enables you to quickly and easily build web and mobile apps for any platform or device. Now Logic Apps. So Logic App is a cloud service that helps you automate and orchestrate tasks, business processes and workflows. The last option Azure Container. So container provides a consistent isolated execution environment for application. Question number 30. A company has a set of virtual machines that define in Azure. One of the machines was down due to issues with the underlying Azure infrastructure. The server was down for an extended period of time and breached the standard SLA defined by Microsoft. How will Microsoft reimburse the downtime cost? The options are A. By directly sending money to the customer's bank account B. By providing service credits to the customer C. By spinning up another virtual machine free of cost for the client and D. By providing a service free of cost to use for a specific duration of time. So the correct answer is B. So SLA describes how Microsoft will respond if an Azure product or service fails to perform to its governing SLA's specification. Customers may have a discount applied to their Azure bill in form of service credits 
as compensation for an underperforming Azure product or service. So here we comes to an end of part three of AZ900 video and I will see you in the next part of the video. Thank you.